this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this episode, I'm going to be joined by Polly for two very important reasons. One, we are building a shop slash cafe that sells apples, and that is Polly's favourite food in all of the world, so I think she's the, the apple expert here, so we had to join her. She is also the redstone expert, and uh, yep, this is going to be a big redstone episode, but... Hopefully it's going to be worth it because the thing we're building is going to be really cool so long as we can get it working. And I have faith that with uh, Polly and me building it, we are going to get it working. So right then, let me go inside and let me begin things by having my uh, breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. Very tasty. But you can stand up and you can join me. And before uh, we go and uh, start building what we're going to be building, I am going to go and head down to the, the Love Garden. So I can let you all know who it is that I'm going to be heading to the Love Garden today. And if you're new here and don't know what the Love Garden is, basically, it's what it sounds like. I add someone's name to the, the, the Love Garden. I say thank you for some reason. The only one rule about being added to the, the Love Garden uh, is that if you ask to be added to the Love Garden, you will not be added. So no asking. But apart from that, there are no other rules and I can add whoever I fancy. So if I wanted... I could add this sheep. I won't add the sheep, but I could add the sheep. I could do it. Oh no. No, I feel bad for not adding the sheep. Maybe I will add the sheep. Anyway, today to the Love Garden, apart from possibly the sheep, I'm going to be adding Harley. And the reason I am adding Harley uh, is because they made a really, really cool Lego creation. And you can see he made part of my house. He made me. He's got dogs there. He's got uh, a bit of my Love Garden. And he also spelled out his name in Lego. And if you ever tried to do like writing in Lego, it's really not a very easy thing to, to do. So thank you so much for doing that, Harley. And Welcome to my love garden. I should add the sheep here. You see, I got William, Polly, and Fizzy here. Then there's a gap underneath. I, I think I should just add sheep underneath there. I'll do it if I remember. And if I don't remember, remind me, because I probably won't remember. Anyway, let's go to the Big Apple. We are going to the Big Apple, not New York. We are going to the, the Big Apple that we built in the, the last episode, which, as I said, is going to be kind of like a... Is there, I guess it kind of is a cafe, but you could just go in and just buy an apple. Like, I, don't, I just don't feel like many people go into like a cafe and like like look at the menu and go, Ah, I think I'll have one apple, please. And Fluffy, you can join us. I didn't know you were in the, the doghouse, but you are, so you can join us. Yeah, so that's why I kind of got a, a bit of like a, um, it's kind of like a, a cafe slash restaurant, uh, slash uh, shop, I guess. And the big thing uh, that we're going to, to be doing to today, the big thing in the, the Big Apple, is basically we're going to, to be trying to make a floor so that it changes colour. So the idea is that you go into the shop and it's going to be red floor, like a red checkered pattern on the floor. But if there's a super special customer or, I don't know, just a special occasion, you can press a button and then the colour of the floor will change colour and instead it was going to be yellow. And then instead of selling normal apples, we are going to be selling golden apples. Of course, if you have a world with a load of gold, you could just go and do like a bunch of gold on the floor. I don't have uh, enough gold to do that. There will be a couple blocks of gold that are just going to be like as decoration in the, the wall. But apart from that, we're just going to have to use yellow for, for now. So it looks like Polly's already in the, the redstone hole. If you try to, to enter the uh, the doorway, um, yeah, you're just going to fall into to this area here. So basically, what we have here to, to kind of have the area prepared, we are, how many blocks down are we? We're like like five blocks maybe down under the, the ground and then this area here is going to be a nine by nine block wide area you could do it slightly bigger with this mechanism like the way i'm doing this i'm sure like there's a smarter way to to do like an infinitely big area but uh, nine by nine just kind of fits the the area that we have but you could kind of go down and do it pretty much any size you want under i think 10 is kind of the the limit that you might be able to to do with the the method i'm doing here so right then let's get started the, the first thing we need to do is go and spread out a bunch of redstone tools torches and the way we need to do these is basically just kind of do them diagonally with one block in between them so i've just done it from one side to the other side there and then i'm going to do the, the same on this side and then we're basically going to be placing down redstone torches on the, the top of these blocks and uh the the mechanism that we're going to be using to make all of this work is basically using sticky pistons which is going to be uh, kind of pulling up and down the blocks and there's going to be other pistons on the side Polly, literally could this there's one block that i need to place down it's crazy how it's not your fault Polly, but like every time like <laughs> you're trying to play something. There's either a dog or a helper or a something standing there. It just seems like really unlikely <laughs> like that people would end up in that exact right place. But yeah, as you can see, uh, Polly has gone and put down a bunch of torches on the, the top here. And now we need to, to go and put down a bunch of sticky pistons. So uh, these sticky pistons are going to be placed on like the... um. On the sides. Actually, ooh, should we do this now? Or should we... 
Let's not do this yet, actually. Let's hold off for the sticky pistons. Because I think it's going to be easier to add in, like, the trails of redstone first. Before all of the, the pistons get in the, the way. So basically, there's going to be two buttons down here. Uh, one which is going to, to be switching all of these on. Uh, basically, kind of switching all the torches on. And one's going to be switching them all off. And basically, we need to make it so that every time you want to, to press the button which changes color, it also goes and set all of these off. So basically, I just need to do... I guess if I just do, like, one big trail of redstone around... Yep, yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't even mean to set... Fluffy sitting down there, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just pressing left trigger anyway. So yeah, let's just do like one big trail of redstone around the outside, and then we can just go and try and fit all of the the repeaters in. I know I'm gonna add, need to add some more repeaters as well. Uh, just to, oh, we missed one here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to, to add some more repeaters as well, just to to make sure the trail goes all the way around. But for now, let's just link these up where we can. I guess this one we could just go around this way, and it could link up to to that one there. And then these ones in the the middle, uh, these will be pretty simple i can just kind of go forward like that the only really tricky one is going to be the one in the the very middle just because you need to be so careful that none of this redstone ever goes past these torches because otherwise it can kind of muck up with all of the the signal and stuff so we're gonna have to, to kind of dig under the the ground uh, in order to to do the, uh, that middle one there apart from that though i believe that is all of them linked up. So this final one here, I guess if we kind of just do a trail of redstone so it kind of uh, links up with it there and then it can just kind of gradually go under the, the ground here. And as long as it links up with like that main trail of redstone, uh, then it's going to, to be fine. So let's get it go under the ground here. I'm going to keep it down under the, the ground for now just so it doesn't kind of uh, touch the, the other redstone torch there because that uh, could be the thing that would mess everything up. And I think that should work. So tell you what, let me just make a lever and I'm just going to go and leave the... I'm going to leave the lever lever switched on. I'm gonna leave a lever switched on. And then let's see just how far the, the signal goes. It looks like it gets to, to here, then goes out. So all we need to do is add another repeater there, and then follow it around until it goes out again, which is right about here. And is that gonna be enough to do the rest? I believe that is everything. And oh, this one isn't... Oh, is this one not linked up here? Okay, let me, let me go and put this redstone back down there. Oh, okay. I think uh, we just need to do that block slightly higher. If you just step out the, the way for a second, Polly. Uh, if I just do a... Yep. If, Tell you what, you do it. <laughs> Why am I telling you how to do the redstone? You can just do it. So basically, now as you can see, uh, all of these torches get switched on and off. At the moment, it doesn't do anything apart from a pretty boring light show. But hey, once all of the other pistons are going to be there, this is going to be absolutely crucial for, for doing the floor. So now uh, we've got all of the, the redstone in and it seems to, to be uh, at least four for now working. We can go and add some of these pistons in. So this isn't the easiest thing in the, the world to, to do. Um, just because you kind of have to place it on like the side of the, the torch. Which isn't... Oh. <laughs> which I'm not doing very well. You know, it might be easier just to like place down like dirt blocks or something. And then we can go and like break these away afterwards. Because it's really not a, a very easy thing to, to be able to, to do. So all you need to do with these pistons is basically do them anywhere where they would be next to one of these redstone torches. And as you can see, even though... The redstone torch is next to it rather than underneath it it still is able to to set off the the piston uh the ones with the the repeaters are actually going to be easier because you can just kind of crouch and then place it on top of the the repeater so those ones are going to be easier and you know what we could kind of just leave the dirt down there i just don't like it i just don't like the look of it so <laughs> we will we will probably end up getting rid of that eventually so what will end up happening uh once we've gone and got this entire area filled in uh basically it's going to make a checkered pattern so every other block is going to have the the piston on and then all of the the blocks in between that are just going to be an empty gap and so all of the areas where the the piston are that's going to be where the the blocks are going to, to change color because it's going to be a checkered pattern that we're going to do it's going to be red and white in one half and then the other half is going to be uh, yellow and white uh, as well uh, which i just think looks quite good and the white looks quite good for like the inside of the the apple uh, as well so that's kind of the the reason i chose those colors and it just looks pretty nice as well which is the the, the other main reason i probably should have like i probably should have just turned <laughs> the torches off before we do did this because every time it just lifts me up but it's kind of funny so I, I kind of like just being like bogged up in the the air every single time it just looks really funny but looks like we are pretty much done with uh, with all of these pistons and so the next thing we're going to to need to to do is all of the gaps in between... Oh, am I stuck? Am I stuck? No, I can get out. Uh, yeah, basically all of the gaps in between where these pistons are, we then need to fill in all of those with, what, with just one of our colours, like one of our main colours, so either red or yellow. So we just go and fill all of those in, and then they're going to be the, the blocks that are going to be kind of 
pulled up or like pushed down or no pushed up or pulled down there we go that's the, the way around it should be and it looks like polly's been good and breaking away all of the dirt which is good you could leave the dirt there the dirt does not matter in any way it doesn't affect anything but it's just a little bit ugly this one on the other hand would affect things because i think i blocked off the the redstone when i placed that down so let's be really careful to break the the dirt but not the the redstone and there we go this is what we have so this is basically kind of the pattern the the floor is going to be in the same area but of course at the moment it's a bunch of sticky piston it basically looks like i don't know a bunch of snot on wooden planks right now <laughs> oh no every time i look at the slime on the sticky pistons i'm just gonna think it's not why did i say that to myself so right then let's just go let's go and put down the the yellow first because this is kind of like the the one which isn't going to be there like the majority of the time it's just going to be a normal red shop like the cool thing about this is like literally say if someone joined my world and they came and like had a, a look in here and they went inside the shop if they didn't see the button they would just think oh it's a slightly boring apple shop like they would have no idea like there's gonna be no reds whoa what was that polly <laughs> don't do that to me <laughs> can you can you lift them all back up was that you or was that me we need, we need them all up so we can go and place all of the all of the blocks in between them that terrified me but they all just dropped down at the exact same time i mean it was probably a good idea just to, to check that it was still working but a bit of warning i mean i guess i guess she doesn't talk so i guess like, there's, there's not loads of options i guess the warning was them all dropping down so yeah basically we need to fill in all of these areas in here with the the yellow and then uh, on the top of the pistons, that's where we're going to go and start filling in with the, the red. And then all of the bits like above, um, uh, kind of in between where the red's going to be, uh, that's where we're going to fill in with the, the white because that, that's going to be the area that isn't going to move. So the sticky pistons area, this is all going to, to be red here. And then directly above where the, the yellow blocks are, uh, we're going to fill in with the, the white. And then we're basically going to have our floor. So Polly, if I leave you to, to just go and kind of carry on the, the pattern that I was doing, being really careful to always put the red on the sticky piston, I'll go and do the, the mechanism which is going to slide things sidewards. So basically what's going to happen is these pistons are going to, to pull down these blocks. Then there's going to be pistons on either side that are then going to slide them along and then push up the, the other blocks. So let's go and add in those pistons. So something very, 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 very important here is make sure that these are not sticky pistons. These need to be just normal pistons just to, to make sure uh, that it's kind of sliding them this way, but then just not pulling them back again, which would be rather pointless. So oh, they need to be normal pistons, but they don't want to be facing that way. They need to be like facing a long way. So let me just make kind of like a, a bit of a, a wall along the, the side here. And then I can kind of just like bounce my way along <laughs> just to, to make it like this. And as you can see, I'm leaving just a, a gap of one block uh, in between. <laughs> sorry, Fluffy. Oh, they're like jumping on Fluffy's tail. I'm sorry. I would let you run around, but not quite yet. It is a, it is still a little bit dangerous down here in the, the behind the scenes area. I will hopefully let you run around a little bit later on. So yeah, these need to be all on that side there. Uh, if you've done that, do you want to copy what I'm doing on the other side, Polly? So one block away, uh, just a big line of pistons uh, along there for, for now. And then I'll go and do the, the next area. So this part's a little bit weird. So if you just wanted to do a color changing floor, what you could do is basically make a... Um a bunch of um, uh, of uh, repeaters like facing into these pistons to make them go. The thing is for me I'm making it so that when you press the, the button, I don't make it easy on myself, basically when you press the button, not only is the floor going to change colour, it's also going to change some of the decorations in the, the shop and it's also going to change all of the items that are in the chest. It's basically going to switch the, the chest around. So I need my trails of redstone to, to basically do more things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bunch of blocks here which are directly next to the, the pistons. Then I'm going to do the repeaters going into those blocks because that's going to be setting off other redstone which is going to be above them we're not going to be building any of that stuff to today so we don't need to, to worry about it too much like we don't need to, to really make sure it works but we might as well make things easier on myself and just kind of start placing them in now so just for while i'm doing this redstone let me just go and break away all of this uh, this dirt here uh, we will be putting it back in later on but for now uh, it's just going to make it much easier to be able to, to kind of fit uh, everything in so right then big row of repeaters uh, repeaters along here i am going to check this just to make sure this does definitely work but because the pistons are are next to the um to the the blocks uh, it should set them all off so one big row of repeaters uh, along there uh, and then one big row of redstone uh, along here uh, as well uh, basically means that it should set them all off uh, let's just go and grab my lever and just do one quick check before we start <laughs> bristly moving on i want to make sure it works and there we go it looks like it works so of course it didn't slide anything along now just because there was that block gap we will be filling that in in just one moment but hey it looks like all of that is working as intended so what more could we ask for so now now, we just need to, to go and bring this trail of, uh, of redstone uh, going back uh, along here like this. And then this is just going to, to end
end up looping its way around. And this is going to loop to where the uh, the buttons are. So I don't know exactly where they're going to be, but this is like the middle here. So there's going to be one button around there. And I guess we can just do one like block gap between them. Then there's going to be another button here. And so then this one is going to loop all the way around to here. So the buttons are going to be in the, the floor, basically, on the uh, like in the, the restaurant. So this is going to be like the, the counter. So you'll kind of just look down and kind of press the, the buttons. So there's going to be a big trail of redstone leading from here, uh, going all the way along here. I'm probably going to have to add a repeater along here as well. Uh, one, just to make sure the redstone's always going in the, the right direction. And also so it's going to reach all the way to the end of the, the pistons, because I think otherwise it wouldn't make it. Do you like my do you like my jump building, by the way? <laughs> Rather than just placing down one block, I'm just going to jump build my entire way along. So, tell you what, let's, let's go upstairs quick, and let's just go and add down the, the button. So, I haven't properly worked out. Like, I don't know which, um... Like, I haven't worked out for the colors which button is going to set each one of up. Oh, wow, did I really just do that? Did I really? I'm here trying to make a color-changing floor, and I'm just <laughs> too stupid enough just to even realize that I can't walk into the, the area. So, basically, around the, the outside of where this checkered pattern is, uh, we're just going to have, like, birch floor, because it kind of just fits in uh, quite nicely with everything else. And it kind of, like, separates, like, this kind of almost like this seating area in the middle here compared to everything else. So, let's just build back to, to here for, for now. And this, I'm kind of a little bit, <laughs> a little bit amazed, but this looks like it's lining up pretty much perfectly. So let's just assume that that's the red one there, and then this one here's the yellow one. It might end up being completely the opposite, but all I need to do is then just change around the, the color of the, the blocks, and then we're going to be fine. So let's say there's a button here, and there's a button down there as well. So now the other thing I need to do is I need to, to kind of add in a trail of blocks along here, just to make sure that when I press it, uh, it does actually slide anything along. So be very careful now, Polly, not to to, to press anything because we, we haven't finished linking all of this up because the other thing we need to, to do is make sure that this redstone also gets linked up with the, the redstone down here uh, which is going to be setting off all of the um uh, all of the the pistons that are going to be kind of going up and down so let's just for now we can probably neaten this up in the the future but let's just make sure it uh it works before we care about what it looks like so yeah let's just link that around to, to there and then this one can link around to, to here once again make sure we use the repeaters so they only go in one direction and i think i don't know so i'm not going to celebrate yet but i think it might be almost done we might have to add a um uh, on those blocks that i just placed down we might need to add another pattern just to make sure it fits in like the the checkered pattern let's just let's just see what happens let's just see what happens when i press this red button is anything gonna happen or it might it might change it yellow oh. <gasps> well are you amazed? <laughs> okay, so it's a bit of a mess down here. So this uh, needs to change to be yellow. And I did get the, the colors the wrong way around. So let's go. Let's just go and change around these blocks now. You, honestly, I'm, I'm amazed I've got this done so far. <laughs> because it isn't, it isn't easy. I, it's not easy. And I had to work out so much of this stuff. And I'm amazed that it, it somewhat seems to be working. But that was, only, that was only half of the puzzle. Okay, so the yellow one seems to work. Let's go and press the red one. So we go and press that. And... Uh, Oh, ah, oh, okay, um, what went wrong? Let me press it again. Did it not slide? Okay, that one's not sliding this way for some reason. Does the, do these all link up over here? Can you, can you go up the top second for a second, Polly? Oh, I was so close. If you go to the side and you, if you press the buttons when I tell you to, I'll, I'll have a look and I'll, and I'll try and work out where things, where things are going wrong because somewhere... Thing. Oh, maybe I think there might not be enough repeaters going here. Maybe like if I had a, another repeater there, then the the trail will definitely be able to make it far enough. It may have just been that. So okay, well, I'm kind of stuck inside of the the redstone maze at the the second. Right, press the the red button for me now, Polly, if you if you could. Okay, so these are definitely all getting lit up there. Oh, but did it work? No. Okay, it still didn't work. Okay, press press the the red button again for me now. Let me watch all of these pistons down here and see. Okay, they do get sucked down. But they're, they're not getting pushed across again. Oh, I think that this is going too quick. I think maybe if we delay this here a little bit, if we pull that back to, to there, and maybe do a, another one and pull it back there. Oh, if you step up the, stay at the top, Polly, if you step up the, the top there, and if you just press the, the buttons when I ask you to, to press them, and then we'll be able to, to work out what's going wrong. I, don't, I think that these pistons were trying to get pushed too soon, and those pistons hadn't pulled down. So yeah, press it again now, Polly, and let's see if, uh, let's see if this is going to work. This is so tense. Oh, oh, there we go. 
I think it's working. I think that was it. I think that, I think it was just trying to push them sideways too soon. So I just added a, a slight delay, and I think I think it's now working. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Let's go and press the the yellow button. The floor is red, and now. <laughs> Now it's half red and half yellow, just as I planned. Right, let's press the red side. The red, the red side seems to be working. That seems to be working properly. Then the yellow side is only, it's only like half working for some reason. Is it, do, do I need to add more of a delay on this side? Let me try, let me just try and a quick fix and just try and do that. Is that going to fix it? Oh, these pistons, these pistons for some reason aren't getting pulled down. I th I think it's not reaching though. I, I think I need to. Ah, I know what it is because it's because of that there. That's me. That's making it so the redstone isn't going to to that side. Okay, that's quite an easy fix, right? Let me um. Can I make an easier way just to get up and down? I guess I can kind of just jump to, to here and press the button. We are so close to getting this working. Right, let's press it now. Let's see if that's gonna make it all work. So I think that might be it all working now and. Is it working? Okay, I, th I think it is working. Okay, let me go to the top. And sorry, Fluffy, you can you can run around now. Just stay away from all of the, the moving pistons, please. <laughs> okay, we're so close to making this work. I honestly did not think I was going to get it done this quick. Assuming it is working. Right, the floor is yellow. Let me try doing it not looking. So let, I've done. I said the floor is yellow. I'm just staring at Polly. How are you doing, Polly? Having a nice having a nice day. <laughs> doing some redstone. And I turn around, and the floor's red. And now I look this way. I press one button, and oh, that's a tasty apple. Do you have a spare apple that I could uh, I could eat, Polly? Uh, I wouldn't mind to, to have an apple and turn around. And oh, the floor's oh, <laughs> so close. Okay, why why did it do that? Why did it do that? Right, let's let's go and press the yellow button again, and let's watch. Oh, we're so close. Was it that might have just been like one one malfunction? There's okay, there's one line. There's one ah, why was that? Why is this piston not pushing? Why does that make any sense? Is it is it just not being pushed out? Is it is there like one on this side here? Hmm, I think maybe maybe these pistons are tailored. Let me try and like add let me try and get let me get rid of this delay to see if that does anything. I'm just basically randomly changing things until it ends up working and then I'm never gonna touch it again. Okay, let's try let's try adding more of a delay. Cause I think it's trying to push it, but those like specific pistons are like still up and that's why it's not moving it. And oh! Okay, okay, now it's yellow. I think we need to have like a few switches in a row with it working. So it's yellow, press it again. And it's all red. Okay, this is the big one. Is it gonna go back to being all yellow? And it is, that's is incredible. It works, look at that. The floor just changes colors with a press of a button. And the good thing is, it's like we could build whatever we want here. Like as long as it's not like sand or something, I guess it doesn't even matter. Like we can just build what we want so we can add tables and chairs, whatever we want around here. And it's basically gonna be a completely normal floor, but with the press of a button, it changes colors. And there we go, not too difficult whatsoever. So hopefully uh, by watching this, you would be able to, to make your very own color changing floor as well if you, you want to, but we're not done yet. So in the next episode, we're gonna decorate the, the rest of the, the room, do the floor the, the walls and stuff also do the the color changing decorations and all, all of the um the chests as well and basically get the big apple 100 percent complete so i want to say a very big whoa there's a slime just run away just run away a very big thank you to, to polly for helping me out so much a uh, big thank you to fluffy for keeping me company throughout the episode and of course a big thank you to you for watching and i will see you all later bye